What is up? What is up? Good morning, Rumble. Good morning, everybody on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching this. Because I already know that this is going to get posted all over. So, it is what it is. As a victim of Marty's, I know I've got a lot of shit that I need to explain. And one of those things that I am going to explain that people have this misconception of is that I'm a racist. Just because I say racist shit, that does not make me a racist. You guys are taking shit out of fucking context. I'm not racist. Some of my best friends are all creeds and colors. I have friends that are black as fuck. I have friends that are white as a ghost. I have friends all over the fucking world. That are different colors, different races different backgrounds and I respect the shit out of them and they respect me now everybody thinks that we cannot say racist shit oh you're saying racist shit you must be racist no when I say the shit that I do and I'm aiming it at a certain individual that does not make me a racist I am aiming it at a specific individual I am aiming it at a certain individual. And it's funny. People think that the word nigger is a bad word. But really, it's not. If you look at the history of the word, the full original meaning means ignorant. The original word was not a term used for slavery. It was used far before that ever was a thing. In the very, very early days of humanity, back in the medieval times, back in the times of knights, kings, queens, in the times of knighthood, it was used in the terms of Calling out someone's ignorance. Therefore, that is the context that I was using it in. And when I call Marty a nigger lover, I call him a lover of ignorance. A lover of ignorance is what he is. He is ignorant to the fact that he is a piece of shit. He is ignorant to the fact. That what he does affects real lives. So you guys can sit there and say that I'm racist all you want. But you guys are taking it out of context. See, if I was really as stupid as Marty says, then why would I know the history of everything that I speak? See, I'm a lot more intelligent than people give me credit for. Just because I don't remember my multiplication or division, that does not make me any less intelligent. I mean, let's be honest. Do you know how many people rarely use multiplication and division in the real world? The most you ever really truly use is addition and subtraction. Maybe 2% of the time you use division and multiplication the rest of the time is always addition and subtraction but what gets me is how people can sit there and demonize me for the things that I say and that I do but yet you guys don't demonize Marty for what he does sounds pretty odd if you ask me Y'all sit there and you fucking demonize me for the way that I react when this man has literally attempted to kill me two different times. This man has turned longtime friends against me. This man has caused family members of mine to lose their jobs. Caused one of my closest friends who was a good, good friend of mine who was like a little brother to me 
who was a moderator on my channel for several years to lose his job. And you know what's sad? Unfortunately, that friend is no longer here among the living. Because he unfortunately died from somebody lacing his weed with fentanyl. And he died from fentanyl poisoning, unfortunately. And you know what's sad? Y'all sit there and you guys demonize me for how I react. For the shit that this man does. When he has extorted me. He has harassed my family. He has made it virtually impossible for me to do anything that I want to do. This man cost me my job that was very high paying. Also he can get clicks and views. And because of the fact that I was, that I was making money without him. He hated that. It's like I said in my previous video. This man is all about money. That's all he cares about is money. This man does not care if he has to extort and exploit people to do it. He does not care. This man cost me not only my dream job as a Twitch streamer. This man cost me several small time sponsorships. That I worked so hard to build a relationship with. People that I was happy to have as a sponsor. I was making $150 a day. Not just in a one time a month. No. I was making money long before Marty ever found out about my Twitch stream. I was making $150 a day. Building up. Building up my stuff. So that I can actually have a decent setup. So that I can actually help my family. And help pay bills. But the men that Marty found out I was making real ass money. Doing streaming. What did he do? He mass reported me and made it look like I was doing shit that I was not doing. Now. They'll sit there and they'll tell you that I was doing shit that I was not doing. But that's not the real truth. The real truth is this man wanted to keep me from making a living. Because he wanted to incite a reaction out of me. He wanted me to make money for him. And only him. He did not want me making a single dime. Without his say so. And without his involvement. And I know, I get it, that was like two or three years ago that I haven't, but it does not matter. The fact of the matter is, I had an amazing job. That I loved, that I enjoyed immensely. And because of Marty, I lost all that. Because of this man, I ended up in the hospital two separate times. Both of them were from me being so depressed that I got an infection in my leg two separate times. The second time was so severe that my doctor told me that if I did not get up and move and walk and do shit, that I would have to have my leg amputated within six months if I did not get up and move around and start doing stuff. And it took me a very long time. It took me almost eight months to fully get back to where I wanted to be mentally and physically. It took a lot of hours, a lot of days of therapy, a lot of fucking screaming and pain wishing it would end. A lot of doctor's visits. A lot of retraining my leg on how to walk because that's how long I was depressed for. 
I was barely moving, doing anything, sleeping all the time, not doing anything, being so depressed that all I did was sleep all day, I barely ate, I was sick every day for months and months and months. But yet you guys still demonize me for the way that I reacted when this man has done all of these horrible things. This man is pure evil and yet you guys demonize me for the way that I reacted. You cannot blame me for the way that I reacted to this human, this disgusting disgusting deplorable piece of shit human being like I've said many a times yes I have made death threats over and over again towards him but they were within reason this man has threatened to kill my family outside of YouTube many, many times. This man has texted my mom at 2, 3 in the morning talking about how he wants to kill me. How he was going to kill my family, burn down our house, murder me and my family and everyone in it, and then burn the house down. But he won't tell you guys that. He refuses to tell you guys this stuff. And I know what you guys are going to say. Well we need to see the proof. Problem is. When. Because of this man. Me and my family. Had to get our numbers changed. So many times. That we ended up having to get new numbers. And when we got new numbers. We lost everything. Text messages and all. We have lost literally so much because of this human being this evil disgusting human but yet you guys proceed to demonize me like I'm an evil person the truth is I am one of the nicest people that you could ever meet in your entire life I really am I'm the kind of person that will put down whatever I'm doing to help somebody out if one of my fans that I talk to a lot or if one of my friends that I talk to a lot says hey I need you to call me right now it's important or hey can we talk I will literally stop whatever I'm doing whether I'm playing a game whether I'm working on a song whether I'm doing whatever I will put down and put aside whatever I'm doing to talk to that person and be like, yo, what's up? What's going on? What do you need help with? What do you want to talk about? That's the kind of person that I am. I'm the kind of person that if you see me out in public and you're legitimately a fan of me. And you walk up and are like, hey, yo, dude. I saw your streams. I watch your streams all the time. I'm a huge fan. I love what you do. I'll walk up to you. And not only will I shake your hand, I will personally sit there and I will offer to be like, yo, dude, you want to get a photo? You want to hang out? You want to go skate? You want to go fishing? Whatever. That's the kind of person that I am. But unfortunately, because of Marty, everybody's got this whole demonized look and view on me. Because this man has made y'all think that I'm an evil human being, but really I'm not. And this is what I mean by y'all cannot believe everything that you guys read on the internet or see on the internet about a person. Unless you know that person, unless you actually talk to that person yourself, you don't have a right to judge them. You don't. Unless you talk to that person face to face, and all like, hey, yo, I see this video, I see all this shit going on. Like, and you hit that dude up, or you hit that person up, or like, yo, can we talk? Because I saw what was going on, I want to find out from you 
myself what's going on. <clears throat> That's what y'all should be doing. Is if y'all want the real truth, you should be coming to me and our, and be like, yo, I saw these videos, I saw what these people are saying. I want to know if it's true. What's really going on? But instead, y'all fucking believe all this fucking bullshit circle of lies. Y'all believe these circles of lies for whatever reason. And it's stupid. If I hear something about somebody, and I've done this, and Marty Cannon will tell you that I have done this, he might deny it, but even he knows that it's true. A few years ago, I heard somebody talking shit about him, and even though I can't stand him, even though I hate the motherfucker with a burning passion, I still hit him up and was like, yo, I heard this dude talking shit. What's this dude talking about? What's going on? Because that's the kind of person I am. If I hear something being said about somebody, I'm not just going to believe it at face value. No. I'm going to ask that motherfucker and be like, yo, I heard this dude talking shit, or I heard this chick over here talking shit. So I'm coming to you and asking you, what is really going on? And that's the way that it should be, man. And it's funny. Everybody always saying, like, oh, I got all this proof about you doing this and doing that. No, you, no the fuck you don't. No, the fuck y'all do not. Y'all say that, that that shit that y'all show, y'all say that that's proof. No, it's not. That is not proof. That is just you guys trying to make a way to make money. That's just a quick way for y'all to demonize somebody so that y'all can ride for whatever motherfucker y'all are riding for and get views. So many of you guys coattail ride for no reason but for views. And that's, that's how a lot of y'all think. And it's sad. But like I said, Marty won't tell you this shit because he does not want you guys knowing this shit. He does not want you guys knowing what's really going on behind the scenes. Or the stuff that has happened. I was on bitch shoot yesterday researching his history to see what I could find. I found this motherfucker doing to another person what he did to me. Him and his ex-girlfriend, or whatever girl he was with at the time, set this man up to make him look like a pedophile right there on bitch shoot. And I did some research on the guy, okay? I found out the guy was not a pedophile. He did nothing to deserve what happened. But because of Marty wanting those views, the man lost everything. Lost his job. His wife at the time ended up divorcing him. Lost his house because his wife took the house so he had to find somewhere else to live. Lost custody of his kids. All over. A fucking piece of shit loser. Like Music Biz Marty. But like I said, Marty don't want you guys to hear this shit. He don't want you to hear what he's really done to people. Like I said, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not. You can ask any of my friends. You can ask anybody that fucking knows me. Ask anybody that knows me. Ask any fan out there. Anybody that's not a fan. That is looking from the outside in. That has actually talked to me. 
will tell you that I'm not a bad dude. Have I done some fucked up shit that might be illegal and stuff here and there? Yeah. But let's be honest. Who hasn't done shit in their past? We've all got a past. Every single one of us has done something we shouldn't do. Whether it's out of anger. Whether it's reacting to something. It don't matter. We've all done bad shit in our lives. Every one of us. But yeah, you guys proceed to demonize me like I'm fucking Adolf Hitler. You guys proceed to, to all y'all proceed to demonize me like I'm fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. Like I just fucking set off a goddamn nuke. But what y'all don't realize. Is that everything that man is telling you is a lie. Every last bit of what Marty is telling you guys is a lie. Every single fucking word that comes out of that man's mouth is a fucking lie. Every last bit of it is a lie. Why? Because he wants to keep you guys brainwashed. So he can make money off y'all. And you know what's sad? YouTube... You guys allow this shit. You allow this kind of garbage to go on. But like I said in my last video, you guys don't give a fuck. You guys only care about one thing. Money. So all y'all motherfuckers out there that are demonizing me, saying, oh, you're the worst thing in the world because you said this. How about you sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up? And instead of demonizing me, how about you get to know me and talk to me as a human fucking being? And ask me like, yo, what really went down? What's going on? I want to know what really is going on so that I can do what I need to do to make sure that me and my people are safe. Marty is not a good human being. He is evil. He is vile. And he is disgusting. And if you ask me. This man does need to be locked up. This man does have mental issues. This man does have. A lot of shit that ain't right with him. This man is a psychopath. He is a narcissist. He is a sociopath. This man has delusions of grandeur all the time. But yet. I point out the obvious and I get demonized. I point out what's really going on. And I speak the facts of what's really going on. But yet. I get demonized, right? And y'all want to know why I refuse to do interviews anymore? Unless it's with somebody that I know personally. Because every time I do interviews with motherfuckers that are like, Hey, I want to do an interview with you. I want to get your side of stuff. Every time I do interviews with motherfuckers that I don't know, I get fucked over. And I get made out to be a bad guy. I get made out to be a piece of shit. Which is why I refuse to do interviews with people unless I personally know them. Like, if one of my friends that's a streamer or a content creator comes up to me and says, Hey, yo, dude, why don't we get you on panel? I'll interview you and you can tell your side of shit. I'm totally cool with that. Because I know that that person's not going to go out of their way to try to make me look like shit. They're not going to purposely go out of their way and try to trick me to make me look like a bad guy. They're just going to ask questions or let me say what I need to say. Which is how it should be. But half y'all motherfuckers 
my bitch ass boogie. Want to make me look like shit? The stupid ass motherfuckers from the Low Cow Podcast wanted to make me look like shit. Every single one of them wanted to make me look like shit. And unfortunately, it worked. But you know what's sad? Everybody has this mentality that they think they know who I am. They think that because it's on the internet, oh, I know who you are. It's all over the internet. I know who you are by what you said and what you've done all over the internet. That's not fucking true. You're not here. You don't live in my shoes. You don't live my fucking life. You don't know what I do when the cameras ain't on. So how can you sit there and say that you know me? You don't know what the fuck I do when cameras aren't rolling. You don't know what I talk to my friends about. What I talk to my family about. But yet y'all proceed to act like you do when really you don't. Half y'all motherfuckers are self-entitled rich kids that have never had an ass whooping in their life by their parents. Because y'all's parents were too much of a fucking bitch to whoop y'all's asses and instill the fear of God in you and instill proper manners and proper etiquette. None of them ever taught y'all how to be a decent person. Which, quite frankly, is sad. But like I said, man, y'all think you know me, but you really don't, though. You really don't, though. And I'm tired of people saying, oh, you're a bad guy because you said this, you did that. There's one saying that rings very true. Sometimes you gotta do the wrong things for the right fucking reasons. Sometimes there are wrong things that you have to do in order to make something right. So when I flashed Marty on his live streams all those times, my intention wasn't to break the law. My intention was to get him shut the fuck down. To get his channel shut down so he cannot attack anyone ever again. But yet, I'm the bad guy. That's real funny. Y'all motherfuckers really need to get a fucking life, dude. Every one of y'all that thinks you know me. Just because of what you read on the internet? How about actually talking to the person next time before making a judgment call? How about actually sitting down and talking with that person? Before you judge them. You know, y'all motherfuckers that follow Marty, that agree with everything he says y'all are a fucking joke fuck Marty and fuck the troll community you guys are a joke 